Hey guys, uh, today we're doing a service on a 2001 Volkswagen Beetle. This is with the two litre petrol engine. The same um, engine is in Jettas, Passats, Golfs, etc. First up we have the replacement oils of 530, fully synthetic. I'm going to do an engine flush on this one. Here is the oil filter or replacement spark plugs fuel filter, air filter and cabin filter. So let's start first with the oil change. Right, so we're now ready to drain the oil. Take off the oil filler cap and also just take out or at least move to one side the dipstick. It just it just allows for the pressure to be released and hopefully everything to drain through. Right, okay, so we're underneath the car. You placed your your oil catch. From the front of the car, you can see where the sump is. It's a 19 mil ratchet. So I'm gonna gently undo this, remembering that the oil is baking hot. Wear gloves so you don't burn yourself and also just to keep yourself clean um, and then let it drain out to uh, to fully empty. Now that the oil has come to a pretty much stop I've plugged it back up only just temporarily. I want to take off now the oil filter. I'll have a look to see how best it is on this car whether it's from underneath or up top. You need a special tool to do that. I'll have a, we'll have a look at that next. It's only just in there a little bit. I will take this back out for further drainage after I've taken the oil filter off. The reason is because I want to take my catch can underneath all these bits. And once I've got the new filter on, I'll just push it back and you can get a bit more out of the sun. Handy to keep by some tissue. I found that the oil flush made the oil literally like water and it filled up this little cavity within a few seconds and overflowed. So certainly keep some tissue nearby for a cleanup. Okay so there are different types of oil, oil filter puller this is the type I have. I've had a look and certainly it's best off grabbing it from the underside. Let's see if I can do this one handed. So you put a grip on it. Remember your, your lefty loosey righty tighty. Grip it and turn it, see it's coming off. Right, put the camera down. We'll take this off. Remember, put your oil catch tray uh, below to catch any oil that's going to come out of here. So, there is the oil filter off. Just pulled it pulled it down from up there. You see the housing. Pull there. your oil filter out. What you want to do is just have a little dab of clean oil. Put it around the seal and then we're going to put this up hand tight, only hand tight, not using the tool. Okay, now that you hand hand tight and the new oil filter on, you see there's a bit of oil that come out from when you took it out. I took out the, the plug again just to let it final drain. It's quite surprising actually how the release of that produces a lot more coming through there so it's certainly worthwhile to get all the last dregs from it whilst you're under here before you put your plug on just take a paper pa uh, paper rag paper towel and uh, just give all this a bit of a clean so up. it's time to fill the engine back up with oil a little um, tip if you don't have a funnel just take a plastic bottle Empty it out, cut it, 
I'm not going to put this in because I've still got a little bit of, uh, of water in there. But cut it, give yourself a nice funnel, dry it out a bit of tissue and fill your engine. There you go, look at that little set up right there. There are two ways of filling the car engine up with oil. Some go by the manufacturer's recommendation, i.e. it could be 4 litres, etc. I like to go by the dipstick. So I'm going to fill this or empty half of this into the engine and then just keep checking the dipstick little by little and then stop when it says once you've started her up all the oil gets around all the bits and pieces into the oil filter so you just need to double check the levels and uh, fill to the top rim again. 